Okay, well we're at Filter Discounters Buckingham Drive, number 11, and we're just doing a little bit of work on this generator set to get it out the door. Um, this is going up to a very remote site up in the northwest of Australia, up near Exmouth. So I've got a repeat customer that um, has bought these sets before, and I've got Greg with me. We've started this generator up before and we've done all the um, commissioning checks, but we're just giving it a little bit of a once over before it gets um, picked up by a customer, probably on Monday, I'd say. Um, but we've had a good good run with these sets, Greg, haven't we? Yeah, definitely, they've been pretty good for us. So nice, solid bits of gear. So let's just have a look around, Nick. Yeah, Come so on. this is a 55 KVA Cummins, uh, Cummins 4BT engine. Yeah, 4BT with a Stanford alternator, as you can see, it's a Cummins engine. Comes with all the accessories that's required to get this thing uh, doing what it has to do. Soundproof cabinet, all powder coated. It's all quite nice set up. We've got a Comap control panel, which is um, internet compatible and multiple unit compatible. Pretty much straightforward to use, not that hard. So we call this one really our rental spec. Correct. And we've got a number of Hence all the, um, fittings all up to Australian standard. standard. Three phase generator. Yeah, three phase. ABB four pole generator, uh, sorry, breaker. Same side servicing, all the oil and fuel filters, air filters, all serviced from this side, as you can see. This is what they call a super silent set. Um, so in front of the radiator is the muffler and everything else, and all the exhaust air and noise gets directed upwards to help with um, the noise of the unit. Yeah, and as you can see, it's all pretty straightforward from a servicing perspective. Um, three fuel filters on this one, two fuel water separators, um, nice easy to get to air filter and of course at filter discounters we stock all the filters and um, well not just filters but we've got a huge range of spare parts for these engines too. So this Cummins engine comes from the Dongfeng factory in China uh, where these 4BT engines are built for Cummins and um, I know a lot of people in Australia seem to have trouble getting some of the spare parts and filters. I think that's getting better now but um, suffice to say all these filters for all these uh, Dongfeng engines um, we've got them well covered here and we've been sending them out all around the country. Should we go for a start? Yeah. Let's go. So what's involved in starting it up? Very simple operation. Once we've done all the fluid checks, which I've done previously, it's a matter of turning the key on and pressing the button. Okay, we've checked oil, checked all the fluids. And if you notice, it starts at idle. And when it warms up a little bit, the engine speed will ramp up to rated RPM. Let's give it a minute. So I think this set um, will go up to a station and uh, it'll be part of the power supply um, where there's some solar and battery in operation. But I think, suffice to say, the generator's going to do a fair bit of the hard work up there. Oh, it'll last for a while. Let's so these, sets, it all up so we yeah, can't hear these it. sets we've already got up and running up in the northwest of Australia. Some have been running for two or three years now and uh, really they haven't missed a beat. It's a nice quiet set. Definitely. Like I said before, all the noise gets directed up. There's a grill at the top, it directs all the noise up so that um, it makes them much quieter. Yeah, all the feedback from customers has, has been these sets are really quiet, easy to operate, easy to service. Um, very reliable Cummins engine, Stanford alternator. Uh, they can be operated remotely. Yes, sir. So the guys sort of looking after some of these sets uh, 
uh, running them or monitoring them from a control centre in Fremantle um, and they've got a variety of sets running all around Australia. Yeah, so they can do remote start and stop from the, uh, their office in Fremantle and they can monitor all the servicing, you know, if it needs an oil change or a yeah. coming out for an oil change or, you know, whatever the servicing requirements are at the time. I know uh, Rob can log in and see exactly how many hours have done or the yes. sets have done and... Um, how much load. Yeah, he was in touch the other day. We're just sending up some more service kits to um, one or two of the sites with these generators running. Um, so this set's a 55. It's the engine, the 4BT, is quite similar to the Cummins 6BT. Basically just four cylinders rather than the six. And um, we've got some more stock on the way. That should be leaving the factory very soon. And we should be seeing those sets in, uh, I would say, late September. Excellent. Shall we open that, that, that the service doors up and just get a little bit of the, so the sound? Can, so they can get an idea of the sound? Yeah. see the inside of the door panels really well insulated, all very neat and nicely done. I know, um, I know you've touched on the engine side of it, but also we we carry all the hinges and, yes. the, and the door hardware and everything else in case anything does, dare, dare I say, go wrong, but we have all those parts in stock as well. Yep. Sometimes these sets get hardwired straight into the power board. Um, but all the uh, all the fittings there for anyone who needs remote power. We put all our details on the set so it's easy for the guys. They know who to call uh, when they need a service kit or uh, in the unlikely event they need some spare parts. But um, we're about, what, five metres away from the set and uh, it's a really quiet operation, Greg, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's quite pleasant. Emergency start stop button on the side. Um, we've got sort of high vis strips that can be fitted to the set. They'll ship with the set. Um, they ship with some boxes of goodies. There's some tools. Yeah, so it comes with a operations, operation and maintenance guide. The test sheet out of the factory is also included. And then there's a handful of tools for um, general maintenance and day-to-day -day care of the set. tool bag with the tools in it. Yep, straight from the factory. And a box with all the relevant documentation for the generator set. Yeah, got all the test certificates and the, um, uh, the load reports. Uh, we log all the details here so it's nice and easy when people ring up and they want, uh, they want a service kit. So this set, we always sell them full of oil and coolant and um, ready to put on the truck. So I'd say this one should be operating on the station probably by late next week. So right now we've got some more sets in stock. Uh, we've got a couple of little sets, Greg, with um, Yanmar engines. Yes, yeah, so we've got a 13.8 and a 16.5 kVA yep. still remaining. Yeah and more on the way. I 
Okay, so that's a little look at our 55 kVA Cummins 4BT uh, set. And um, yeah, we'll share some info on some of the other bits and pieces that we're bringing in.